In the summer of 1945, two flashes of blinding light carved scars into Japan that the world would never forget. Cities vanished, lives changed forever. And for a moment, the word nuclear became synonymous with unimaginable destruction. But history has a strange way of twisting the unexpected. From the ashes of devastation, Japan would one day embrace the very force that once shattered it. This is the story of Japan's nuclear rebirth. In the decade after World War II, Japan struggled to rebuild not only its buildings, but its identity. Energy was scarce. Resources were limited. Factories needed power. Homes needed electricity. A new era of modernization demanded an energy source that Japan did not have. And then came a global shift, too. The world was entering the atomic age, and the United States introduced a new initiative, Atoms for Peace Sharing, nuclear technology not for weapons, but for progress. Japan, a nation determined to rise again, saw something others didn't. Nuclear energy wasn't just power, it was independence. In 1955, against the backdrop of global tension and domestic uncertainty, Japan passed the Atomic Energy Basic Act, dedicating itself to peaceful nuclear use. It was a bold move, a controversial move, but it marked the beginning of a transformation no one could have predicted. As, as the 1960s arrived, Japan found itself in the middle of an economic miracle. The world watched as industries boomed, technology flourished, and cities exploded with life. But all of this progress needed one thing, energy, a lot of it. And so Japan made a choice that would define the next half century, spend reactor, then five, then ten. Soon, nuclear power plants lined Japan's coastlines, powering factories, homes, trains, fueling a nation determined to redefine itself. By the 1990s, Japan operated one of the largest and most advanced nuclear fleets on Earth. Its engineers became global leaders. Its reactor designs, world-renowned its energy, more stable and secure than ever, for a nation with almost no natural resources, it was a triumph. March 11, 2011, a date forever etched into the nation's memory. A massive earthquake ripped through the Pacific. Moments later, a towering tsunami struck the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. What followed was a cascade of failures core meltdowns, explosions, and an evacuation of tens of thousands. It became the darkest moment in Japan's nuclear story. Public trust collapsed overnight. Protests surged, and one by one, all 54 reactors across Japan were shut down. Energy prices rose, emissions increased, and Japan faced a question more difficult than any before. How does a nation built on nuclear energy move forward after losing faith in it? Dears passed. Investigations were launched. Safety standards were rewritten from the ground up. Japan didn't just improve, regulations it created some of the strictest nuclear safety rules in the world. Slowly, carefully, reactors began to restart. But Japan wasn't aiming to return to the past. It was aiming for something new. Engineers focused on next-generation reactors, designed to be safer and more efficient. Scientists accelerated research into fusion energy. Partnering in global megaprojects like ATER, Japan began exploring small modular reactors, flexible and disaster resistant. Even nuclear waste, one of the world's most unsolved problems, became the target of innovative recycling projects. Japan wasn't turning away from nuclear power. It was rewriting the rules. Today, Japan stands on the edge of a new nuclear era, not defined by the tragedies of its past, but shaped by the innovation of its future. Nuclear energy remains central to Japan's goal of reaching carbon neutrality by 2050, a future where reactors are smarter, safer, cleaner and where the lessons of history steer the technology of tomorrow. Japan's nuclear story isn't over. It's entering its most important chapter yet. And so, Japan's journey continues driven by resilience, shaped by innovation, and propelled by a vision of a cleaner, safer future, too. If this story captured your imagination, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. Because in the next episode, we explore the future, the new reactors under development, the fusion breakthroughs on the horizon, and how Japan's nuclear evolution could reshape the world. The next chapter is coming, and you won't want to miss it.